I completed Marvel Avengers the game this is what I think it was worth picking up there will be there will be some gameplay spoilers because I, I recorded the ending um, obviously spoilers ahead I'll try not to spoil too much it's my opinion if it's worth picking it up so just let you guys know make sure to leave a like subscribe and let's get into it so the story is about 10 hours long it's a it's a it's a short one the main the main quest line is 10 hours basically main story but after you complete the main quest line or main story spoilers alert there's other like story like story to do with main quests and that it adds on to it they did say with this game this game's a bit like destiny they will be adding like st actually story expansions or like so like it adds on to the main story or the whole quest lines in the game already like it's like continuing on you know, obviously a bit like destiny and their expansions and all the other games pretty much but like instead of like making it like something completely different it adds on to that main actual game so it's kind of like a like a, a sequel but in the exact same game, so they did say they're going to be updating this game for you know, obviously a few years, or well, for a little bit obviously, I don't know how long they actually said, but at least by another year or so. Um, the story's really good, other than I found there's some like, really cheesy moments, like the, uh, the old Uncle Ben, like, or, you know, the old phrases from like the characters, the Uncle Ben sort of thing, like Miss Marble, I don't know, it's just some like really cheesy lines, like, you know, great power comes with responsibility she doesn't say like that she obviously says what she's been told and all that lot and this and that the awesome or epic moments are like obviously at like the climactic part she likes there being a child I think it kind of ruins it obviously yeah now with marking of this game obviously they said Captain America was dead but we all know he wasn't because in the marketing pre-order stuff they had like all skins and they showed they very show you clearly skins for Captain America so Captain America is not dead first off um but yeah out of all the characters um uh, there are so many good characters honestly um I've been playing a lot of Hulk I've been playing a lot of Thor I've been playing a lot of Iron Man I've been like, playing a lot of Captain America I've been playing a lot pretty much there's so many heroes i can't decide which one i want to play see there's so no, there's some skins for black widow when i get skins for every single character i want to get pretty much and it's in the so-called challenge card i'll get onto that why i don't like it much but yeah so i can't actually decide who i want to main so i'm just playing all three but that means that i've got low power level and characters but that's on my end um, obviously, you unlock the characters one at a time. You want, I'm saying it now if you want my view. So obviously, you get Miss Marvel. You do, you do up to the story. You get, then you unlock the Hulk. Then you unlock Iron Man. Then you unlock Black Widow. Then you unlock. Then this, this is where it gets weird. You, then you get a story with. Then that one mission you get, like you play us for. But then you actually don't unlock him, you just play as him for it, like for the mission. Then after that you go into space as Iron Man. Yeah, spoilers alert, you go into space as Iron Man. Find out Captain America is alive and that then that blooming Monica, the main if you want if you want to know the story, watch a story video somewhere else pretty much. Yeah, Monica's been using Captain America's super soldier serum blood pretty much. To keep um, that scientist alive, because obviously, yeah, he hates, you know, blooming superpower, you know, superheroes and that, because they think they're uh, disease and everything. And pretty much, she kept him alive using super soldiers, and he didn't know. Then he kills Monica and that, but Monica comes back at the end, and she's still alive, and that's it. That's like, it's crazy. Well, if you want to know the whole story thing, watch another video on it. But yeah. So with that, I want to talk about skins and like character customization. So you you've actually got a level. So you got your main level. You you know you you got you got like skill trees. You got your primary skill tree. You got your specialist skill tree and your prime master skill tree. I've not figured out the prime master skill tree. Um, the um, specialist skill tree is where you level up your main ability. You need two side abilities and obviously your primary ability is just melee weapon damage and that. And with with like the levels, there's some really nice set pieces at the beginning, at the end. Um, it just there's a ton of good like set pieces. I like the one with Iron Man near the start. I like the one at the end. That's pretty good. I like all the set pieces. It's so so good. It's so much fun. You're watching this cutscene. This is the end game. But pretty much, this game is good. There's lots of content. There's 
there's a lacking of bosses, but you get to fight the bosses again. You can there's like a another Taskmaster quest line, another Abomination quest line, and obviously there's the War Bots and that. I actually um yeah, and you can go around the Heli Carrier or like I don't forgot what's it called and that, and go into all the characters' rooms and you can try it at the end of the game. And you can try and pick up Force Hammer. Obviously, you can't get to the move clearly. And they've all decorated it. There's people to talk to. There's obviously vendors where you buy like gear, in-game credits, and then obviously e outfits and emotes of in-game credits and that. And I just think it's so 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 good. It's definitely worth a pick up. If obviously if you just want to play the story, uh, or if you want to like grind into it, like a game like Destiny, because I've you know that it's been said this game is Destiny out the guns. And I agree, it is and I quite like it like that. It's it's a great game, but because it's Marvel's Avengers, obviously it makes it a lot better for me, really. And so yeah, if you watch my beta opinion um, video about this game, as you said, I had a few complaints. One, there there there's no targeting like like Dark Souls targeting. There is that you can target now. And they 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 made the Taskmaster boss fight harder and the Abomination fight harder, which is a good thing. And now we're gonna get into the things I don't like about the game, which obviously ain't too bad. They can easily fix it and stuff they need to add. So like, don't take oh my god, the game's bad. I can't play it, sort of thing. But yeah, let's get into it, guys. So maybe you're thinking, oh, what was so bad about the game? But there's nothing too bad. I just think there's stuff that is need to add and stuff. Obviously, they um, need to change like <clears throat> battle passes or the quote-unquote challenge cards, which is pretty much you do annoying challenges to do a battle pass for every single character. Now, as as you said, I can't pick my mind what character I want this. Skins I want the Black Widow and Blooming Hole, Blooming Four, Blooming Iron Man, Miss Marvel, and that. They're all going in the Battle Pass. They're all got level 40 each, and you've got like these four, like these two daily quests, you know, challenges, and these two, and these two weekly quests to do. Now, obviously, to do them, you got to play as the individual characters, which is good for like making you play as individual characters. But if you if you obviously you want to put all your time into one character, but you want those, those skins, you can't. You've got to work on all the characters and the challenges. There's some easy challenges, and then there's some annoying challenges. Instead of the challenges like like you know being like, oh kill like, 100 enemies or something like that, it's like oh you got a free 100p you know allies 15 you know loot 15 boxes loot loots like those kill enemies midair in this attack. And it's just like really strange things to do, like kill three exos, and it's like, and it's like, yeah, they bet, you know, and that's all being said, yeah. There's this big, like, level 40 battle pass goes at level 40, but every challenge you do doesn't actually give you, like, a, um, like a, like a bar, let's say. It just gives you a little bit of XP towards it. So you've got to do, like, these four challenges to get a little bit of XP to try and get one bar. And uh, if they're going to do a battle pass, obviously it's free anyway. See, so obviously, uh, what well, it already should be, yeah. Make it one big battle pass with all the skins on it for every single, like, character and hero, yeah, with all the uh, bits, lootables, outfits, emotes, and that. But they should make it one big one, you know, with, um, with, uh, every, like, challenges to each and every single hero, so obviously. You know, players to hold, kill on this, or do this as Iron Man, do this as Thor, do this as Miss Marvel, do this as Black Widow, and it all adds up to the battle pass. Or keep as individual battle passes, but like me, you know, individual pa battle passes for Black Widow and Blooming Iron Man, but obviously make it so you can do those all characters. And by what I mean is like set certain challenges. So as for Black Series, for the Black Widow, for our battle pass or challenge card, um, kill you know or use widow bite on 50 enemies so that's for like that's fine on the blooming black widow challenge card specifically for black widow that's a challenge and also let's say before um you know for four for then this is for the black widow about pass so you can understand what i mean so for the black widow about pass play as four and uses bifrost ability to kill 50 enemies and that's for black widow's battle pass 
but for Captain America's Battle Pass, what they could also do, obviously, obviously use Black Pistol, Black, uh, Black Widow's heavy pistol, the you know the kit, you know, get headshots with it on 50 enemies or 10 enemies, whatever. And with four, obviously use heavy attacks on 10 enemies like that. So there's like different challenges for obviously for different cards with the same characters. So you, if you're playing as Black Widow, you could do all the all the Black Widow challenges in the Captain America pass, and obviously Iron Man pass and so forth. And obviously, so you know what I mean. So like, have have challenges for the same you know for different heroes, but only be activated for the same battle pass. And you can only like do the challenges like so. Saying as you're playing as Black Widow, and obviously, yeah, and you want to focus on one challenge at a time. So he has that challenge. So you're playing as Black Widow, and it's going to activate these challenges for that pass sort of thing. So that's what I think they should do. And also, it is very annoying. There's some missions where you got players characters. Normally, I'm fine playing as a certain character if it's for that certain mission for that character. But if you're in a character, you know, if you're in a mission, yeah. Um, and you got a smash down a door, but you're playing as like Iron Man or Black Widow, you can't. Or or Captain America, you can only smash doors down as Hulkbuster. That's Iron Man's ability, so I guess he can. Or uh, of heavy heavy attack before Miss Marvel or Hulk. And obviously, there you got to do some self sec. I figured out you got to do. There was this camera watching this control panel to unlock a. You know, obviously a room with a storage box in it, you can't do that unless you're playing as um, Black Widow but you got to play, I, I was playing as Captain America and I had to finish out on that mission as Captain America I couldn't just swip, swap characters within mission so I think they need to add that feature in right away especially to adding in like more heroes because everyone's going to be like oh yeah because it would be kind of handy because like if there's an enemy that's hard to kill as say as obviously Iron Man but it's easy to kill the enemy as the Hulk, you could switch to the Hulk obviously there's four characters in a loadout, yeah, I'm not like switching the characters that's not in your like squad, I mean like say, say if you got um, Captain America, Miss Marvel, Iron Man, Hulk say like that, say if there was this big enemy that's easy to kill as the Hulk, you could switch from Miss Marvel to the Hulk, like that, but you can't switch to like Hulk to Black Widow because that's not in your squad sort of thing that's what I think they should do as well they need to do that you know so the challenge card I don't like I think they should you switch with character switch a character in missions where you like don't have to play as a certain character pretty much and um, if there's characters I think they should also do if the characters in your squad instead of you only getting XP for that one character that you're playing as for the characters in your squad they should also get XP and loot but not as much or like not nowhere near as much XP and a little bit of loot since they are in your squad actually doing stuff and obviously they're not doing a lot but yeah that's why they should get a little bit of XP I think so they're just playing you know, obviously grinding on like leveling up a, like one character five times in a mission and all there's all these other characters that ain't getting no benefit from it they're just sitting around like obviously helping like it should be like a joint XP thing that'd be easy to level up characters and level up power level because obviously it'd be easy to get quick, quicker to get loot than that that's what I think they should do but obviously some of the enemies are quite annoying they just spam you know kind of a the kind of a damage spend but that's alright because um, there are some good powerful moves so you should be able to get past it easy enough um, overall those are the only bad things I can find, pretty much. And there is a lot of, um, like, when I say useless, it's not useless. Like, say if you unlocked, so you're at level, well, I'm at level 15 at the Hulk here, and the gear that I've got right now is all that leaves power level in the 40, 35, and that. And I'm getting green loot that's still like a level, a power level 23, and that. That's no use to me. So it should be at least buffed up a little bit as I'm leveling up there. My the gear, the green gear that I am getting, is closer to that power level to my golden gear. But I'm not going to use it anyway. So I think so. You are getting like gear that is still, but it's not all the time. I'm just roughly saying they just need to buff the level a lot. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it really. So after everything we just talked about, is Marvel Avengers worth picking up or buying? Yes, yes it is. 
I love it, it's a great Marvel game, you barely get great Marvel games. Square Enix, got it. Um, so, uh, let, let me talk about a little bit of the cast, yeah? The person who voices Black Widow, yeah? Voiced Abby from The Last of Us Part 2, yeah, yeah, shut up, complaining about Last of Us Part 2. It, 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 you know, Abby, Abby was an alright character, they don't blame the voice actor, it's the exact same voice actor. Nolan North, aka Edward, Dr. Edward Richtofen from Cod Zombies. Desmond from the first three or the first sort of Substance Creed games. Blimmin' and Nathan Drake from the Uncharted games plays Iron Man, Tony Stark, so pretty much. So when you're listening to Iron Man you'll just be thinking of um Blimmin' Nathan Drake and Troy Breaker, Joel from the last of Batman from the Tale Tale series, basically Troy Breakers and everything, is he an American dad, believe it or not. Plays Blimmin' Blimmin' Dr. Banner, you know, it's basically, you know, and they, and they play on that too, they know it's from the last one, because you sometimes says, hey kiddo, or, you know, what's up kiddo, he says the kiddo part just like Joel does, so obviously they picked a great car, you know, a great cast of voice actors and that, so it's definitely worth picking up anyway, but yeah, everything is so good, as I say, there's lots of end game content to do, there's lots of like, there's factions still level up, there's everything, so it's definitely worth a buy. So this is my opinion, obviously this is my opinion, I think it's worth picking up. Um, if you're thinking, oh no, it's going to be shit anyway, I'm not picking it up. If you're just looking at the game, and obviously, I can't tell you, I can't see and tell you it's a good game. You've got to decide for yourself, but my opinion, it's a good game, it's worth picking up. If you're going to say the game is shit without, um, obviously without picking it up. You 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 obviously don't know a thing about games, cause you're seeing it shit before you pick it up. You've got to play the game, you know, sort of thing. Obviously, if you don't like them, um, if you don't like third, you know, obviously third, obviously if you don't like certain games, cause the way they are, fair enough. But uh, you know, you got you got to try out the game if you know what I mean. So I can or I can see it and talk it up. But at the end of the day, I think it's worth buying. You can only buy it to see if it's worth playing or borrow the game, or whatever. With that all being said, guys, I hope you respect my opinions, and I hope for those who do pick up the game, I hope you do enjoy it. But this has been the video, so make sure you leave a like, subscribe, any question, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.